Welcome back to my channel viewers and subscribers. Today we're going to be talking about Star Wars Visions Episode 5 called The Ninth Jedi. So grab your favourite snack or blue milk and let's get into this. So Episode 5, <coughs> Star Wars Visions entitled The Ninth Jedi opens with a narration about the fall of the Jedi and the subsequent war that's followed and we're not really told if this is the if this is order 66 and the rise of the empire but it's presumable it might be the viewer is then informed that margrave duro has a plan to mine for kyber crystals and restore the order of the jedi the narration then goes on to inform the viewer that the sith have a plot to disrupt this we then cut to a young masterless jedi named ethan who received a coded message to appear <clears throat> At the aerial temple named High Islan. Islan. <coughs> Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Other force users are on site and have received the same coded message. And Ethan shows a hologram projection of Master Margrave Juro inviting Jedi to the location of the aerial temple to claim ancient lightsabers and restore the order of the Jedi. We then cut to an unnamed planet where a young girl named Kara and her droid Four Nines travel home to see her father, whom is a bladesmith creating lightsabers, which channel the user's connections to the Force and appear the colour of the user's path to the light side or dark side. We see that Kara's father, the bladesmith or the maker of the lightsabers, gives the, the weapons to uh, Kara when Jedi hunters arrive to claim the actual lightsabers. Kara's father defends her escape, and a chase between Kara and the Jedi hunters begins. Kara manages to get off world <coughs> and to the aerial temple and present the force wielders with the lightsabers constructed by her father. Kara asks for help to rescue her father from the Jedi hunters. The force wielders pick up the lightsabers and the path of destiny is shown and a battle begins. And this is one of the best parts of the episode overall in my opinion, for alliances are shown and the action really ramps up. So the episode concludes with Master Margrave Juro and his new allies setting out to rescue Kara's father from the Jedi Hunters. So Star Wars Visions Episode 5 The Ninth Jedi gets 4 out of 5 stars from Tac Tac Toys with film. And now let's talk an action figure line to accompany it. So there's plenty on offer here for a great action figure line from Hasbro Black series including Masterless Jedi Ethan, Kara and her lightsaber make maker father, maybe it's a two pack with four nines the droid, Jedi Hunters as army builders, Master Margrave Juro, the droid host that Master Margrave Juro has, Hanby, Roden, Nizo, and other unnamed force users who would all make great action figures. And a special mention to YouTube Blazing YouTuber Blazing Toy Reviews, who mentioned that SH Fig Arts could do with it a good job with some of the characters from this series due to the anime look of the characters. Check out his channel for some great action figure reviews. So that's my take on Star Wars Visions Episode 5 of The Ninth Jedi, an episode I particularly enjoyed. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, it all helps the channel at the end of the day. And until next time, enjoy those flicks and figs.